everyone. Today I wanted to share my A5 folio that where I am storing my five-year Lloydstrom notebook. So this particular folio is from Chic Sparrow. It was a special edition and is no longer available. So I just wanted to get that information out to you right off the bat so that you don't go looking for this because it's not available. You may be able to find it on a buy sell trade group occasionally or eBay or something like that. But this was a special edition. It is, um, I believe it's the Outlander leather, but because it was a special edition, she short, sort of gave it a, a different name. She called it The Doctor, which I believe is Doctor Who reference, a Doctor Who reference. Um, but it is uh, essentially the same as an Outlander leather, the current version of Outlander leather, which has a little bit of shine to it and a little bit of squish. So this was a special edition that came with the folio, the pen, um, the pen closure and a key fob. And ever since I got it, I have been using this notebook for this purpose. Let me see if I can back out just a little bit because that's a pretty big folio. <laughs> um, and it's been working great. Uh, I think the, so the spine on this one fits a five year Leuchstrom perfectly. Uh, the newer ones, I think, may not be as flexible on the spine, and it could just be this leather, too, that's very flexible. So some people, I think, have had issues with fitting a, a five-year notebook into um, an A5 folio from Chic Sparrow. So just so that you're aware of that issue that I've heard of. So in the pen closure, I have a, a Pilot Vanishing Point. And I'm not gonna, um, again, I'm not gonna do a test of the vanishing point today, but I just wanted to show it to you. So this is the dark blue version. I can't remember what it's called, but but it is the blue version. It's not the shiny one, which would be the Decimo. And it is a click pen, which is actually really quite convenient. I, I really like this pen. It has a gold nib, which I tend to like because it writes really smoothly. Some people with this pen, see if I click, you can see how short it is. And this is shorter than a lot of pens I use, but I feel like the weight is really well distributed, so it doesn't bother me, the fact that it's a little short on the end. Like it feels really well balanced in my hand when it's clicked out. Because it has some, some heft to it, it is fairly heavy. Some people have complained about the pen clip being up here, I'm gonna put that back in. So when it goes back in, there's a little cover that covers the nib so that it doesn't dry out. I live in such a dry environment that occasionally I do have issues with this drying out. I have another one in the uh, sort of shiny yellow color and that one dries out all the time. And I have to figure out why that is, whether there's some issue with the sealing mechanism or what, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I was talking about the clip. So the clip, uh, this is obviously a pen clip, so you can clip it to paper, clip it to your pocket or whatever. Um, and it's up at the top because you wanna be storing your fountain pens with the nib up. Um, it, there's many reasons for that, but mostly it's so that the, the ink is not going down into the nib when you're storing it upside down. Um, that can cause all kinds of nib damage, etc. cetera. Um, but there's a variety of other reasons too. So some people have found that the clip part is a little bit uncomf uncomfortable when writing. I have not had an issue with that. I have, uh, I would say probably a fairly standard pen grip where I hold it in between my first finger and my thumb. And then I lean my middle finger and the rest of my fingers up against the pen. Um, if you had a grip where you were kind of on top of it like this, you might have some issues. Although now that I'm doing that, it actually doesn't, doesn't seem to bother it wouldn't bother me either I don't think but given my standard grip around the clip it's not an issue for me so it's a great pen I love it and it kind of color coordinates with this this is a dark dark blue um, this is a little lighter blue obviously but it's still kind of in the same range so um, what I have in here is the Some Lines a Day five-year memory book from Leuchstrom and I'm not going to show you the individual pages because I have written, I've already finished one year, 2019. And, um, but what I, what I will show you 
So I'll just show you here sort of on the side. So each page has uh, five different little square boxes here for you to write each year, some a little something on each year. And they're very short. And even days that I skip, I will go back and either look in my bullet journal to see what happened that day or on my phone calendar to see what I did that day. This seems much more manageable to me right now as a daily thing than my just sort of brain dump journal just because um, I don't have to dwell on anything too long. I can just get something out of the highlights or the lowlights of the day as it may be. And it's been actually really interesting since this is my second year on this journal using it uh, to see the differences between this year and last year. Obviously, there's some pretty major differences, <laughs> but it's kind of interesting to see my mindset each and every day as I'm going through and putting new entries in. So it's, I think it's a great practice. Um, the Leuchstroms, I, I feel, do not have the best fountain pen paper uh, or paper for fountain pens rather. Depending on the ink and the pen you use, you might get some feathering. Um, there could be some bleed through. I have not had issues and most of what I'm using is the vanishing point with the Pilot cartridges. Um, I haven't really gotten fancy with it. I, I do have a converter, but I, I haven't used it in here yet uh, to use ink in a, in a jar. But uh, the, the cartridges from Pilot seem to work okay. However, don't get the, if you want to do something similar, don't get the Pilot parallel cartridges because they tend to run wetter. And they, I have used one in here before for this notebook and it has bled through. But the regular fountain pen cartridges seem to work just fine. All right, well, that was probably more than you needed to know about that, but I just thought I'd share my experiences with that. Oh, and I just realized since I've had I had this out near my bed for so long, there's some dust accumulating in the cracks here. But the notebook itself has held up really well, and I think I'll probably be using this for this purpose for as long as I have this five-year journal. I may um, essentially archive this what at the end of five years and keep it in here and maybe start something new. But uh, obviously, I've, that's that's a ways off, so I have a while to think about that. All right. Well, feel free to like and or subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.